Happy New Year and welcome back to the cabin. It has been some time since I have done a video. I did put together um, a series of videos for you all on ceramics, um, on Christmas decorations, porcelain decorations. I'd even coloured my clay to show you all. However, unfortunately, there was a really big issue and that big issue was that I'd taken my work to a community kiln. My work was dropped from a big shelf. And this is what they look like. Because I actually even kept the box with them all in. Um, so I don't know if you can see inside there. If I'm getting close enough. You can see that they've literally all broken into tiny pieces everything that I made so there's some of the coloured porcelain that I'd done in blue so I'd done a video on that some small tree decorations so the whole thing all those decorations are gone so I had to think what to do next and where I take my work to the next level and what I want to do and um, so I've decided to invest in getting myself my first kiln so I'm really excited today to share with you that it's arriving today. Oh, the kiln's arrived. Oh, it's coming. So exciting. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Come back. My kiln pack from Northern Kilns also came with um, not just one shelf. I've got a second shelf here. Some half shelves. They actually cut them in half for me, which is very kind of them some free bat wash and a selection of different size props. Today I'm going to put a small firing on. I'm going to be testing some of my vessels. These are made with porcelain. I've got a selection of clays. I've got some paper clay in there and also some white millennium stoneware that I'm going to test. So that's all really exciting. I also got a free magazine from them, some instructions on the Stanford controller, kiln manual for the Rhoda ECOP 43 litre kiln. Safety instruction. This is where Northern Kilns went through some different programs for me and I'll talk about them in a later video and also how to program the kiln. So let's get loading this kiln. These ones are porcelain and that is stoneware, white stoneware. starts to go, segment one is 100 degrees up to 660 and then has a 10 minute soak and segment two is going all the way up to 1200 with no soak and then we're slowly going up by 100 degrees, another 10 minute soak and then end program one and let's press play, let's start it.
everything's come out of the kiln. Click subscribe if you want to see how I get on glazing and firing the pieces. Okay, tune in next time. Bye for now.